All right, greetings and salutations, friends. It's Hadrian here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. <laughs> I um I parked. I had to park in front of our driveway yesterday because my neighbor was. Oh my gosh, there's like some mayhem here. My neighbor had a huge Halloween party last night. And I think, I think they're, I think one of their kids is like a senior in high school. And I feel like she invited the whole senior class to the party because literally the, it was crazy. There were so many cars, like the whole street, both sides, like, and I had a bunch of stuff to bring with me because I went sourcing yesterday for the live sale. And I was like, I'm not gonna park. I can't park like all the way, like down the street, like super far and then bring everything. And I was like, I'm just gonna like park in the driveway. Like it's cool. So I, par I was gonna move my car after their party ended, but their party did not end. So I just passed out, but I mean, it's cool. It's my driveway, but, and yeah, it was a rager that the music was loud. They had like lights. It was like, it looked like a crazy party. And I am I am glad that I am not their direct neighbor <laughs> because the party was loud. The thing though is I don't think, I don't think I am, um, like they don't have a house next to them on one side because they live on the end of the street. And I don't think our neighbor, I, I, don't, I don't think our, like the neighbor that they have like next door, I don't think they're, they're here right now. I think they're gone. So I think that might, like, that might have been a really good time to throw a party for their neighbor that wasn't there. But it was intense. I'm surprised that they were the only house that had a party. Usually, then I wonder if the other. I mean, they, could there have been two parties going on at once? I don't know. My neighbors like to throw a lot of parties, <laughs> us included. But our we don't. We don't have like we don't really play like loud music. We, I don't, we honestly don't really play music at all at our parties. Um, so yeah, but it was it was cool. <laughs> anyway, happy Sunday, Sunday fun day. It's noon. I had a late start, but it's okay. Um, it's really 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 windy today too, and half of my like I have like some those decorations in the front Halloween decorations that like light up and they're like you know and they were just like all blown over already and I kind of just like tucked them in I don't think there's any way like I they're just gonna fall over no matter what so I kind of like tucked them into the little nook because in the front we have like a fountain and then there's like a little like it's like an enclave I don't know what to call it uh and I just like tuck them in there so they wouldn't like blow away down the street because that's happened before when it gets really windy if I have any decorations like that that are there like they get like blown away and one of like a lot of the parts just like if they fall over like they break off you know what I mean and then like they're just like flying down the street and I don't want that to happen again. So I kind of just like tucked them in and I'll fix them later once it's not so windy. But yeah, the wind is here. It's always usually, it's always like really windy where I live. But today is exceptionally windy. I don't know if you can hear the wind like blowing. <laughs> There's so much debris, like leaves and stuff everywhere too. It's crazy. And I was, uh, I was in the backyard this morning. So many leaves were in the pool. And I don't know what happened to our like pool vacuum thing. I don't know if it was just never connected properly from the party that we had. Or I don't even know. What is it? Because Cade will take it out. Um, you know what? That's probably it. Because Cade will like practice doing laps and stuff in the pool. And sometimes he'll take out the thing because it's like obstructive. But I don't know if you like connected it properly because the whole thing was literally disconnected. Like a little vacuum piece was disconnected from the hose and the hose wasn't connected to the pool suction, the whole thing. So I was, rec 
connecting it this morning and it was it, it, it is nuts there's like so much dirt and like leaves and stuff in the pool and yeah so good thing I, I checked it this morning so that that way the vacuum can clean that stuff up it's out of there but oh yeah it looks really dusty you can see it's like a dust cloud like the air is just like full of dirt Ooh. yikes especially here it's like very hilly and mountainy and it just creates kind of like a storm a wind tunnel between the mountains and the hills so it kind of like makes the wind stronger if that makes sense but yeah <sighs> but it is a beautiful day though regardless of the wind the temperature is nice it's not as cool as it was yesterday because yesterday I wore a sweatshirt I brought one today for when it gets cooler for sure later but this morning it was really cold though like the cool the wind was cold it was chilly but now it's like windy but like it's like the sun is really warm and I'm hoping to find some really cool stuff today yesterday I found some really great Tiffany and Co sunglasses Man, the sunglasses were so good yesterday I also found this pair of sunglasses that I'm currently wearing this is a pair of Bottegas and I actually from the same exact collection there's a, I have another pair of these sunglasses too that I got like a like a few months ago and they're they're a little smaller than these and they're a little bit more round they're like kind of roundish but like still square like a little square like you know it's like a it's like squarish but like rounded you know and these are definitely just like square sunglasses which I love and they're a little bit bigger which I I love I love like a bigger sunglasses especially ones that like kind of like cover my eyebrows I don't know why I feel like my eyebrows are crooked and then when I have sunglasses that show them too much my eyebrows just like my whole face just looks like super crooked I don't know I'm just crazy I don't know if anyone else is like that please tell me I'm not the only one <laughs> like a crooked face it's like uh, uh. oh man Let's see what we can find in the bag section. Do we see any goodies over here? What is this? The fossil? No. I don't even think this is leather. Oh, no, it is fossil. Oh, eight bucks. Oh, the strap, though. <gasps> yeah, that's not even leather, huh? Look like it. That's a pleasure. Hmm. Okay. What other goody goods do we have here? Not a long shot. What do we have in the backpacks? Anything exciting? <laughs> this unicorn one. That one's cute. Oh man, the Christmas stuff is already out. How much is this? Also, what is this? Flopped tree? Does it come with like a stand in there? Oh, it is, it's like a little tree. That's actually kind of cute. What do we have over here? Oh, there's more trees. There's a lot of Christmas stuff already. Um, Teleflora, I guess it looks a little anthropology or like CB2 esque. <gasps> How cute! Some chevron like backsplash or something. What is this? Cute little thing. Oh, a little cat mug. World market. I like that it has like these little gold accents. A little eyeball thing. Uh, Potters were oh West Elm, fancy. It looked pretty nice. I like the design. Oh my gosh, French fries! Oh, it's broken. Sad. It's not for food use though, anyway. 
Is that the only one of these bowls? It's really cute. Rochelle syrup. Oh, this is cute for syrup. Four ninety nine. I think we might need that. What is this, one of those butter things? <gasps> it is a butter thing. I actually just got one of these. Well, not just, it was like a while ago, but it was a Le Creuset one in red, but this white one is pretty cute. You put like water inside of there, right? Or something, and then it keeps the butter. I don't know if I like that that much. I still haven't used it. It kind of freaks me out. Like, I don't know how to do it. This is kind of nice though for $4.99. Okay, let's put all the things that I like over here and then we'll decide. Any other cute little doodads that I might have missed? Chantal. Okay, of course I have to look at the. Oh, there's a bunch of anthropology mugs. T A I. I feel like it's a hard letter to find, though I have at least one. Do I need another one though? That's two ninety nine. Hmm. Maybe we'll not get that for now. Oh, these are fun. The little cakes inside. Cakes. There's like a gazillion of these. They're only ninety nine cents each. And they all match, but I don't need any of those. These are kind of cute. Put plants in here. Royal Limited Full Lead Crystal, made in Czech Republic. All right. Let's see what we have. These little knickknacks. What is this? Oh, it's that like a pen. Or, yeah, it's a penguin, right? This is cute. Five bucks. Cute. What? Plates. Oh, maybe they have more of those bowls over here. Oh, these are kind of nice. These are from Target. Oh, these are kind of pretty with the flowers. Fashion plates or ultra durable fine china Leilani. Emily. Do you remember when these used to be all the rage? These are like the original like hydro flasks, these like core water bottles. I remember my mom bought a few of them. They were like, it was like years ago though, from like a long time. But these were like so cool. Do you guys remember? Please let me know if you guys remember. Oh, there's a like shining sea. Oh, these are for a company or something. Ooh, shiny. I don't see a make. But it has like the little feet, that's legit. Oh, there's like a little crystal. Oh, there's a crack. That's broken. We'll just automatically put that down. Mm. This isn't Tiffany. Oh, oh, this one's also cracked. What a bummer. Everything cool is cracked and broken today. Someone took the little syrup thing that I left over here, but it's okay. I didn't need it. Plus it would make me eat syrup and we don't need that. Uh, I'm still looking at this bowl because it's pretty cute, but I don't need that either. Okay. Hadrian is going to be strong. Okay, what else? What is this? Interesting. Okay, let's check out and see what else we can find. Oh, friends! Oh, rest in peace, Matthew Perry. Oh, 
All right, what other knickknacks can I find over here? There's a globe, some wine holder things. This little Paris tray is interesting. I like the design on there. That's cute. This little mushroom sticker is adorable. I wish that was actually printed on there. Um, I wonder if these are on sale yet. Will this be on sale? $11.99. I like these little mushrooms. I would probably paint them, but they're adorable. Or maybe I would leave them as is. Oh, this is cute, but it's cracked. Oh, I was like, I thought this was a giant lock, but, well, it is giant lock, but it's a, uh, oh, it is blue. Blue is on sale. <gasps> Wait a minute. Blue is on sale. Okay, this is exciting. How do I go back? <laughs> okay. Wait, how much were these things? Ele Wait, was it eleven ninety nine? Oh, they were. Blimey. Okay, we're gonna think about this. I think I'm gonna get some. Because those are really cute. This thing is cool. It even has little feet. $14.99. All the furniture. Okay, last time we were here, we went here and found that they had a lot of these on sale so let's see if there are any new ones that are on sale that I can buy $2.99 oh look at the used to be blue under there it was on sale at one point bubbles citrus swim tube oh this is only $1.99 that one's kind of fun I'm kind of considering getting another donut. I do like this giant leaf. It's kind of cool. Giant leaf, $5.99. Hmm. What about these? $1.99. These glitter ones are always fun, but one just exploded in the backyard. <laughs> uh, this one's gonna be half off. This is gonna be like $3.150. I do like the yellow. Okay, let's get that. That one's still gonna be like 250. 199. These are honestly such good prices though. Oh wait, this one is oh wait, whoa, that one's gonna be two bucks now. Not on not the right price. For sure I'm gonna get this yellow one. Okay, I don't know what this spring float is. What's this about? Is it just like something you sit in and then it just floats? Fast inflation. Interesting. But maybe no. I wish I filmed finessing that thing back up there. It was so smooth. <laughs> oh, wait, what's down here? Oh, this one is... Cool float, $9.99. Oh, that one's cool too. Okay, I'm checking out what's inside of this case right here. And there's like a bunch of like these bedhead tools. I'm already thinking about like Christmas presents and stuff. <gasps> they have that Natrium salicylic acid. I love that stuff. I think I actually might get that. It's like still in a box and everything. Hey guys, we are back at the house and I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today from the Goodwill and then we also went to Crossroads, so let's jump into it. Let me start off first with this cute little turtle. He's so cute. He's a little crystal turtle. So cute, he's only $6.99. Uh, my mom and I collect like these cute little turtles. Actually, I think he might be glass, hold on. Just kidding, he's glass, I think. 
think he's a glass turtle. So cute! I love him. We're gonna add him to the collection. Oh, this is my first turtle. I don't have any like glass crystal turtles or anything. And this one is adorable. Check him out. Yes. Okay, so excited. Then... Oh, okay. I did also pick up this salicylic acid moisturizer from Notorium. So I'm excited about that. My acne has been going crazy. If anyone has any recommendations, please let me know. But I know this will help. But yeah, this was uh, $12.99, but it was half off. So that was a good deal. Though I feel like it kind of has been calming down a little bit, but I feel like it's, I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's the hormone, like the weather, like everything. I don't know what it is. Then I also picked up the, and, uh, one of these swim tubes. The last time I was at this Goodwill, I picked up a bunch of these. And this one went on sale. So I don't have one of these yellow striped ones. It was $2.99, but it was half off. So it was $1.50. So that was fantastic. Oh, then check this out. Oh, I was so excited to find this. So this is like an acrylic uh, tic-tac-toe set. And I've actually like kind of always wanted one of these. This was $7.99. And I thought it was a deal. I, th I feel like these are pretty expensive like on Amazon. I want to say like around maybe $40 or something. So yeah, this is cool. I can't, I can't wait to put this in the library. This is going to be fantastic. I know the kids are going to love this. So that, I feel like that's going to be a really fun, like, decorative addition. Yeah? All right. Next up, I have, oh, okay, this is the last item that I got from the Goodwill. They actually had this one on a little cart behind the register. So I was like, can I see that bag over there? They're like, yeah. So this is a C by Chloe crossbody bag. And it is in this beautiful black pebbled leather, gold hardware. C by Chloe bags are so fantastic. And they're so well made. The leathers they use are beautiful. This is only $12.99. So this was an awesome deal. And it's a great crossbody bag. Leather is so soft, so supple. And I love the shape and silhouette of this. Very, 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 very excited about that. Ah! So cute. So we got that. Then we went to Crossroads. And first thing I have, I got this amazing suede leather jacket. And it's like literally brand new. It's from The Gap. It still has like all the tags and everything on it too. And it was $32.50, but it was on sale. And I'm going to give this one to my mom. So I hope she likes it. I hope it fits her. But it is such a nice jacket. I love the color. The suede is stunning. So I had to pick it up. Oh, yeah, see? Still has the other tag on there, too. So, this is going to mom. I'm very excited to give that to her. So, we got that. And then I got this really adorable Tory Burch little phone bag. And it's in this metallic gold leather. It's in like new condition. It has a little crossbody strap, which you can remove if you wanted. And it has built-in card slots inside of there. And this fits the largest iPhone with a case and everything and zips up nicely. So you can use this as a crossbody bag, um, as a phone bag, as a wallet, or just like a little pouch. You can remove everything. And this one was $24. Up next, this one. This is our last item, actually, that I have. And this is a Marc Jacobs Collection crossbody bag. And this one is beautiful. I love it. I love finding these Marc Jacobs bags. They're so well made. Marc Jacobs Collection bags were made in Italy. Unfortunately, they no longer have the Marc Jacobs Collection handbags. Though, the stam has been brought back which was one of his iconic it bags from his collections. And I feel like he's been bringing a lot of things back. So I'm just waiting for this one because th this collection, also very iconic, beautiful tan lambskin leather, quilted gold hardware. Inside, you got like built-in card slots inside of there, zippered pocket and then an open pocket. And this guy was... $32.50, which is a deal because this bag, I believe, retails around $800. So, very, very excited to find this. I love Marc Jacobs collection bags so much. And that is it. That is going to round out today's video. I hope you guys had fun checking out the store with me. And tune in tomorrow, but early at 7 a.m. for a new video. Join me at one of the live sales. I always love hanging out with you guys during those. And uh, hope you have a great rest of your day, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys!